Serpentine Belt versus Timing Belt. Are they the same? Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Auto V Fix, where we share helpful car maintenance and repair tips and guides. In today's video, we will be talking about serpentine belt versus timing belts and their differences, and we'll break down the replacement coat functionality. Failure cons before we jump into today's video. I like to remind you not to forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you are new here and haven't already done so to stay updated on all our latest videos. And also like and share this video, it helps our channel a lot. Now let's dive fully into the topics of this video. Like many car owners, you may have wondered over what are the difference between your car's serpentine belt versus timing belt. Are they the same? The reason for the possible confusion would be that not only do these two car components look alike, but they also seem to function similarly, as they are both belts that link different car parts together. But that may not be entirely accurate. Without some know-how, it might be difficult to tell which is which. So back to the question. Is a serpentine belt and timing belt the same? The short answer is no. They may look similar and serve to link different parts of your car, but they serve different purposes and interact with different car parts. So, while they're both essential to your ride, they are far from interchangeable with each other. The major difference between both belts lies in their functions as well as in the particular part of your car that they each work with. So, in effect, you can safely say that your car's serpentine belt and timing belt are very different parts that serve different purposes. Now let's look at the key differences between serpentine belt versus timing belt first. Let's look at their function, serpentine belt. This belt, also known as the drive belt, drives several devices in the engine, including the alternator, power steering pump, air conditioning compressor, and sometimes the water pump. It helps in providing power to these accessories. Timing belt. The timing belt, as its name implies, is responsible for synchronizing the rotation of the crankshaft and the camshaft. This precise synchronization allows the engine valves to open and close at the correct times during each cylinder's intake and exhaust strokes. Next is their location, serpentine belt. It's typically located on the front of the engine and can be easily seen when you open the hood. Timing belt. It's usually found inside a protective casing, timing cover, on the side of the engine because it must stay clean and free from debris. And now let's talk about materials and design. Serpentine belt. It's a long, flat belt with multiple ribs on its inner surface that increase traction and prevent slippage. Timing belt. This is a toothed or ribbed belt. The teeth interlock with the sprockets of the camshaft and crankshaft, ensuring precise movement. Next, replacement, serpentine belt. Typically, serpentine belts are more durable and last longer than timing belts. The usual recommendation is to replace the serpentine belt every 60,000 to 100,000 miles, or if signs of wear and tear, like cracks or fraying, are noticed. Timing belt. Timing belts generally need replacement between 60,000 and 100,000 miles, but it depends on the vehicle's make and model. If a timing belt fails, it can cause serious engine damage, as it might lead to unsynchronized timing of the crankshaft and camshaft, leading to the pistons colliding with the valves. And finally, the consequences in case of a failure for each of these belts. Serpentine belt. If a serpentine belt fails, the vehicle's accessories, like the alternator, power steering, and air conditioning, will stop working. The vehicle might still run, but driving it could become more difficult and may cause other problems if not addressed quickly. Timing belt. If a timing belt fails, it could cause a catastrophic engine failure, particularly in interference engines where the timing between the pistons and valves is critical. It's not just a matter of the car not running, it could potentially destroy the engine. Can serpentine belt affect timing belt? Unfortunately, your car's serpentine belt can pack up after a long period of wear and tear or sooner than this if it is defective to begin with. When that happens, does the serpentine belt affect the timing belt of your car? The answer is no, it doesn't. As has been stated earlier, these two belts or components are very different and serve different functions. So if your serpentine belt were to be broken, your car would still be able to move for a short while on your car battery, 
before you run out of battery power. On the other hand, if your timing belt is affected, it will usually ground your vehicle, and you should not be able to move it at all. So, again, a bad serpentine belt will not affect your car timing belt in any significant way. Serpentine belt versus timing belt cost. The replacement costs of your car's serpentine belt versus timing belt differ widely, and this is one of the greatest differences between the two car components. A serpentine belt is usually a low-cost car part that you can replace for between $1.70 and $1.200. In contrast, a broken or damaged timing belt or chain can easily cost as much as 10 times that amount in extreme cases, meaning $1.2000. On average, though, a timing belt will cost you somewhere between $1.500 and $1.1000 to replace in parts and labor. Part of the reason for this extensive difference in costs is that the replacement of a timing belt or chain usually involves basically disassembling the engine since the timing belt is located inside your car engine proper. This is in contrast to a serpentine belt which is located outside the engine and is clearly visible, making it possible to reach easily. How much is it to replace a timing versus serpentine belt? Serpentine belt cost. A serpentine belt is cheap and easy to replace. You can buy a serpentine belt for between $1.50 and $1.70. You would also need to spend between $1.100 to $1.150 for labor if you cannot change the belt yourself. On average, you would spend between $50 and $200 to replace a broken serpentine belt depending on the auto shop labor prices. Timing belt cost. A timing belt change or replacement is many times more complex and difficult than a serpentine belt replacement or change. Your mechanic or auto technician will have to disassemble your engine to locate the timing belt deep inside your engine, which is a complex process, and I do not advise you to do this yourself. This is part of what makes a timing belt replacement really expensive. In extreme cases, you may be required to spend as much as $2,000 to replace a broken timing belt or chain. On average, though, you can expect to spend about $500 to $1,000 for a full repair. Out of that, $100 to $350 will be the cost of the belt itself, and the rest will go to cover three, five hours of labor. Is the serpentine belt the timing chain? No, the serpentine belt is quite different from the timing chain or timing belt. What are the three belts in a car? You may have heard that there are more than just these two belts in your car. This is quite true, as depending on the vehicle, there are usually three or four types of belts in your car. The most usual number is three, and they are one, the serpentine belt two, the V-belt, also called the drive belt three, and the timing belt. Do all cars have a serpentine belt and a timing belt? Apart from wondering serpentine belt versus timing belt, are they the same? You may also be asking if all cars have both a serpentine and a timing belt. The answer to this is yes and no. While all cars have at least one serpentine belt, not all cars use a timing belt. Those cars that do not have a timing belt will use a timing chain instead. But this is just a difference of material as a timing belt and timing chain serve the same exact function. What is another name for the timing belt? You may be a little confused because you've heard the timing belt called something else. But that's not a mistake, as a timing belt is known by other names. These names include a Gilmer belt, cam belt, and camshaft drive belt. How long can a car run without serpentine belt? Depending on the strength of your battery, you can drive your car without a serpentine belt for between 20 minutes and 90 minutes. You must note that you'll be driving your car this way on battery power alone, as the alternator is unable to charge the battery without a serpentine belt. How many years does a serpentine belt last generally? Most serpentine belts will last as long as 5 to 8 years or between 60,000 to 100,000 miles. So there you have it guys, all on the serpentine belt versus the timing belt. I hope you find this video to be helpful. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you found this video to be helpful. Stay tuned for more informative videos and until next time, drive and stay safe. I will see you in my next video. Bye.